morning to you, everyone. It's a beautiful March day here in Sweden now. And I want to say that um, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, I also want to say that I haven't been vlogging for a while now, and that is because I have been meeting friends and family, and I have been working and so on. But uh, this is going to be a short update. I feel much better now than I did last time I vlogged. I have more energy and I feel much, much less depressed. I have been able to start working 100% and that's the first time since April last year. And that is a huge improvement for me. And I have also been able to start exercising more. And that's also a huge plus for me. I really like it and I mostly do condition-based exercise but i also want to talk about something else and that is i'm quite open about my disease i talk about it quite often uh, my friends know about it my workmates know about it and uh, my family knows about it and it really helps me to deal with my disease and i am open about it because i want people to understand how this disease affects my life but I do get a lot of questions about it. And most of the times the questions are, you know, quite okay, like how does this affect you and how do you feel and what are you able to do and how do you manage to do it and stuff like that. But uh, sometimes I feel that I have to defend my disease and I have to defend my actions on how to deal with the disease. So, for example, I need to take micro breaks at work. I do take micro breaks at home also. And my micro breaks are usually between one to five minutes long. I do that because if I don't take those micro breaks, my brain will almost completely shut off. I cannot focus. It's like I have to focus to concentrate but i have to concentrate to focus when that happens so it's like some kind of negative loop that happens some people understand why i take micro breaks when i describe why i take it but some people question why i take micro breaks it's like don't you see how much we have to do right now don't you see that it is not okay to take micro breaks right now can you take a micro break later? And the answer is always no. And my micro break is usually between one to five minutes long. And I usually just go and grab a coffee, go grab a fruit or go to the toilet. You know, stuff that every person do every hour. And I usually take one micro break per hour. It works perfectly for me. And I can see that other people take micro breaks um, once every hour, but they don't call it micro breaks. They just say, I go, to, I go to the toilet, I go grab a coffee or something like that. But for some people, it becomes a problem that I take micro breaks just because they know I have a rare neurological disease. And I think one of the reasons why they perceive that as to being a problem is because they think that they, that affects my workflow and my ability to work, but actually it don't. It affects my ability to work in a positive way because I am able to stay focused and to hear that uh, some people question my micro breaks, it can be quite hurtful because it's, it's, it's something that's very personal for me. And I really hope that people can understand why I do take micro breaks because it's a way of me, for me to deal with, with the disease and it works for me. But to be honest, I don't really know how to deal with that problem that people question why I take micro breaks. Uh, if they do it, sure, what can I do? I just tell them that I need to take a micro break. And when I say that, it, it 
blue is like that. And if they are upset about it, it's their problem, not my problem. And I, I don't know how to deal with it in a better way than that. And with that said, I think it's time to end this vlog. And if you like this vlog, remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.